That's right. Mm. You can't. He was teaching them. So, so he was teaching, he was teaching, them. He was right. teaching the doctors. That's Jesus right. was teaching the doctors, and I stand corrected. The pastor brought a powerful point. That means that they were listening to Jesus, and how was Jesus? According to the verse, how old was he? Twelve. Twelve years old. So these doctors were listening to a twelve-year-old kid. That teaches us that so we're never too old to learn. We're never too old to learn. Yeah. So let me go. Let me go into mm. the Psalms. Yes, yes. Psalms. Please. 119, mm. verse 97, el verso 97 mm. hasta 104. Dice ahí, oh, cuánto amo tu ley. Todos los días en ella me, eh, es mi meditación. Eh, me ha hecho más sabio que mis enemigos mm. en tus mandamientos porque siempre están conmigo más que todos mis enseñadores mm. he entendido porque tus testimonios son mi meditación más que wow. los viejos eh, he entendido porque he guardado tus mandamientos de todo mal camino con, con tu fe mis pies para guardar tu palabra. No me aparte de tus juicios porque tú me enseñara, me enseñaste cuando cuán dulces son a mí palpar tus palabras más que la miel a mi boca. De tus mandamientos he adquirido inteligencia mm -hmm. por cuanto he aborrecido todo camino de mentira. Estos versos se refieren a la niñez de Jesús wow. cuando él estaba creciendo antes de él sentarse con esos doctores malos. You know. mm -hmm. Para los doctores, entonces, ¿de dónde salía la sabiduría de él? Mm -hmm. Porque él siempre estaba meditando en la palabra y los Hallelujah. La palabra hearing simply means, when you go to the Greek, it simply means understanding. Entendimiento. Hearing them. In other words, understanding them. Okay. <clears throat> understanding, we're understanding them. Powerful. Now, not only hearing is important for a key to learning, but also the Bible says, and asking questions. You're in doubt, write it out. If you're in doubt, shout it out. Ask. Ask questions. This is another key to learning. So number one, you're in the temple. Key number two to learning. Number two, sinning. Three, in the midst of doctors. Four, listening. And then number five, the Bible says asking questions. We can observe that Jesus at the age of 12 took the place of a normal child learning in humility and quietness. Note that from his teachers. And yet, in the course of the proceedings, he, Jesus, must have been asked some questions because the people, quote, were astonished at his understanding and answers. They were astonished to see a 12-year-old boy provide these Powerful answers to these powerful questions that was being asked. Glory to God. Amen. So this was possible because the Bible says, why will, and that the pastor mentioned, why was all this possible? How could a 12-year-old kid possessing the keys to learning, which is sitting in the temple? What else? Uh, in the temple, sitting in the midst of doctors, Hearing and asking questions. ¿Cuál era la clave? ¿Qué fue lo que hizo a Jesús? Eh, entender la importancia de estar en el templo, eh, eh, sentarse en medio de los doctores, escuchar y hacer preguntas. ¿Qué hizo todo esto posible? El versículo 40, la Biblia dice en Lucas capítulo 2, versículo 40. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit. Filled with wisdom. ¿Y dónde viene la sabiduría? De Dios. Porque Pablo llama la sabiduría del mundo demoníaca, del diablo. Pero la sabiduría de Dios. Amen. <coughs> so, ¿y qué es sabiduría? Es entender a Dios 
y su principio y sus preceptos y su mandamiento y aplicarlo. Eso es sabiduría, la aplicación de Dios en nuestra vida. So, Amen. ¿qué nos hace a todos? What makes all of us effective students? The application of God's word, how we carry ourselves. That shows us how, 